you are welcome to prevent a solution given this nice exponential equation, which is 5 to power x times 5 to power x, this is equal to 90. So what are the values of x? Now solution from here, 5 to power x times 5 to power x, this is actually in the form of 8 to power n, plus, multiplying by 8 to power m, which you can express as 8 to power n plus m. So applying this property, this exponent property, this follows that we can express this as 5 to power x plus x, this is equal to 90. Now from here, we have 5 to power x plus x is 2x, this is equal to 90. Now so for the value of x here, we introduce the natural logarithm on both sides, so we have rog 5 to power 2x, this is equal to rog 90. So rock 5 to power 2x, this is actually the form of rock a to power n, which you can express as n rock rock a. Applying this power rule property, you find that rock 5 to power 2x becomes 2x rock 5. This is equal to rock 90. Let's divide both signs by rock 5 here rock 5, so that now we have 2x is equal to rog 90 divided by rog 5. The next step here, we can express 90 as 9 multiplied by 10. Now, substituting this, we'll have 2x, this is equal to rog 9 multiplied by 10 divided by rock 5. Now, rock 9 times 10, this is in the form of rock A times B, which we can express as rock A plus rock B. So applying this logarithm property, find that here we'll have 2x. This is equal to rock 9 divided by rock 5 plus rock 10 divided by rock 5. Now from here, we can express 9 as 3 to the power 2, and we can express 10 as 5 multiplied by 2. So therefore we'll have 2x, this is equal to rog 3 squared divided by rog 5 plus rog 5 times 2 divided by rog 5. So let's proceed from here. We have two x is equal to rog three squared divided by rog five. Now applying the power rule, this means that this is two x is equal to rog three to power two becomes two rog three divided by rog five plus rog five times two divided by rog five. The next step here, we find that rog 5 times 2, this is in the form of rog a multiplied by b, which you can express as rog a plus rog b. Applying this logarithm property, here we'll have 2x, this is equal to 2 rog 3 divided by rog 5 plus, now here we'll have rog 5 divided by rog 5 here plus rog 2 divided by rog 5. Let's simplify here. Rog 5 and rog 5 simplifies. This is 1. So that will have 2x. This is equal to 2 rog 3 divided by rog 5 plus 1 plus... Now here we have rog 2 divided by rog 5. Now, rock 3 divided by rock 5 and rock 2 divided by rock 5, this is in the form of rock A divided by rock B, which you can express as rock A to base B. Now, applying this logarithm property, it follows that we'll have 2x, this is equal to 2 rock 3 to base 5 plus 1 plus rock 
2 to base 5. Okay. The next step here, let's divide both signs by 2. So that now the value of x here, the value of x here is equal to half plus rock 3 to base 5 plus half rock 2 to base 5. Now this is the value of x. Let's verify that this value of x actually satisfies the equation by following these steps. Now let's verify that this value of x actually satisfies the equation. Now, if you recall, we end that 5 to power x times 5 to power x, this should give us a value of 90. Now in this case, 5 to power x times 5 to power x, we say this is in the form of 8 power n times 8 power m, which we can express as 8 power n plus m. Now applying this exponent property, we have that 5 to power x plus x, which is 2x, this should give us a value of 90. Substituting the value of x here, we'll have 5 to power 2 times x, which is half plus rock 3 to base 5 plus a half rock 2 to base 5. This should give us a value of 90. Now the next step here, let's simplify here. So that now we have 5 to power 1. This is plus, this is 2 rock, 3 to base 5. Plus, now 2 and 2 simplifies here. So this is rock 3, log 2 to base 5. This should give us a value of 90. So we find that 5 to power 1 plus 2 rock 3 to base 5 plus rock 2 to base 5. This is in the form of A to power n plus m, which we can express as a to power n multiplied by a to power m. Applying this property, we'll have 5 to power 1 times 5 to power 2 rock 3 to base 5, multiplied by 5 to power rock 2 to base 5. This should give us a value of 90. So this implies that this is the same thing as 5 to power 1 times now, 5 to power 2 rog 3 to base 5. This is actually the power. You can express this as 5 to power rog 3 squared to base 5 multiplied by 5 to power rog 2 to base 5. This should give us a value of 90. Now, 5 to power rog 3 squared to base 5 and 5 to power rog 2 to base 5. This is in the form of m to power rog a to base m and this should give us a value of a. So this implies that 5 to power rog 3 squared to base 5, this should give us 3 squared. And here we have 5 to power rog 2 to base 5, this should give us a value of 2. So substituting this, we'll have 5 to power 1, this is actually equal to 5, times 3 squared, which is actually equal to 9, times 2, this should give us a value of 90. So 9 times 5 here, this is 45 times 2, and this is equal to 90. So 45 times 2, this is actually equal to 90, and that implies that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side, and that implies that the value of x, which is a half plus rock 3 to base 5 plus a half rock 2 to base 5 actually satisfies the equation. So can you follow the steps, like this video and subscribe.